looking for something to do with an old PC to keep it out of the landfill. Jose writes, I have this Pentium 4 PC just thrown in a corner doing nothing. Aww. Instead of selling it, I thought I might just recycle it and turn it into an old school arcade machine, bringing back to life not only my out of use PC, but those games that are close to forgotten. I got this main that I find is great, but now I'm looking for an easy to configure front end, joysticks and buttons that complete the experience. I know there's a community on the subject, but I'd really like your suggestions and if possible, the cheapest ones. Wouldn't it be cool if you guys build one just for the fun of it or show other ways on how to recycle old PCs? Saludos from Santiago, Chile, Jose. I built one. Actually, I cool. take that back. David Randolph built one. Look, is, I love, is this what's left of it? Well, the, we built a main <laughs> cabinet and then somebody cracked the monitor, so Dave took it apart to save somebody. space in the studio. Hmm, it was not somebody me. cracking it. Not a, me. Okay. Not me. Don't even joke about that. I wept. I was also on vacation. Um, I love recycling old PCs, and we'll talk about some options of that in a second. It's nice that you have an alibi for that. No, it's He's true. Like, I was on vacation. I didn't break the I was out of the state. For anyone that doesn't know what a MAME cabinet is, do you want to explain? Yeah, sure. As a I MAME is also known parts. as a um, multiple arcade machine emulator, and it's a way to play classic video games on a cheap PC hardware. Um, it runs copies of the ROM chips that held the software in stand-up arcade machines, which I understand were very common when you and Roger were still young. You had to like go to the mall and actually go to a place where all those machines were to play video games. It's well, so it was either that vintage, or play Pong. Man. You know, you had to get there on your horses because cars, and you couldn't play them online. They, none of that stuff was invented yet. Well, the internet was available. I just had to go to college to get access to oh. it. Are you sure they had college then? They had college then. Oh, fancy. Fancy um, that. Now that we have the internet to find files on and cheap PCs, as well as lots of gaming nostalgia, you can build a MAME cabinet, uh, which is pretty much a full-on classic gaming cabinet with arcade-style controls and a MAME box stuffed inside. So, look, the easiest way to get classic controls, the stuff you're looking for, Jose, is to pony up 130 bucks for one X Arcade's dual joysticks. It's got all the buttons you need for almost every game out there along with a joystick, and there's side by side for two players. Let's see if we can get, we, we should borrow one so we can battle. I'm doing like Street Fighter button mashing stuff. <laughs> I know, which means you'll be easy prey. The coolest thing I ever saw was uh, a Street Fighter Fight Club that we covered actually for Core, and they had a whole room, a whole like outdoor garage filled with old school arcade Street mm -hmm. Fighter units, and these kids were insane. Like they built the whole cabinets, they got all their own button things, so even when they played on the console version, they had their own mm -hmm. you know, joysticks and, and buttons to push instead of using the controls. Nice. And they're the best players I've ever seen in my life. It was totally sick. But anyway, I digress. If Back to you, you dedicated your life to Left for Dead and had your parents support you while you were living in the garage, you could be the world's finest video gamer too. I know. So all you gotta do is quit your life and move back home. <sighs> Anyhow, it, the, the, the X Arcade, it's got the USB jack that plugs into your PC, they have an Xbox 360 adapter, and you don't have to figure out how to map arcade switches to the keyboard commands that control MAME and of course do a lot of wiring. For another 70 bucks, you can pick up the X Arcade Tank Stick Plus Trackball, which is pretty much the same thing. The joysticks, the buttons, and a trackball Ooh, is in tracky. between the two banks of buttons and joysticks. Tracky. Is that just a cue ball in there? It uh, looks like one, doesn't it? Looks it looks like a cue ball. I've always wondered if they originally sourced I know, if cue they're balls basically just cue balls, they might be a little too heavy. It could be. Well, actually, there's some heft. The traditional old school, the original trackballs actually were, were bigger than cue balls. Um, X Arcade builds these things to survive serious episodes of gaming rage. Perhaps you could demonstrate some gaming rage for Erica. That's not gaming rage. I've seen her in a gaming rage. They offer a <laughs> lifetime warranty. Quote, in the event that your X Arcade can't take a beating or is defective, X Gaming will either fix it or send you another one. We'll even pay the tab for the shipping charges. Unfortunately. Yeah, only in the USA. Sorry, Jose. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, not in Santiago, Chile. Lo yeah. siento. But you should be able to get the 30-day money-back guarantee. This needs to be an animated GIF, you guys. <laughs> it's I know you can do it. I've seen it Australian before. Australian Wii players. Um, if you want to get your DIY on, That's you can really buy arcade-quality buttons, like the ones I was snapping together just a second ago. It's essentially like inside all of your arcade buttons, at the bottom of it is a replaceable micro switch. So micro switch snaps into the button holder. And let's listen for the distinctive click. Here, I'll actually put it together properly. And there's the distinctive click. And there's your oh, mechanical nice. switch. Um, X Arcade is a pretty solid arcade bundle. 40 bucks includes 20 buttons, a pair of joysticks, and uh, a one player and two player start buttons that actually have like these, the one player yes, and two player on them. Yes, that is awesome. Very critical. <laughs> 
<laughs> for another 50 bucks, you can pick up the controller you need, which is uh, it, one example is Xarcade's uh, BYO USB PS2 adapter. And then basically you wire all the micro switches to the adapter, uh, which looks something completely different than this, but this is the basic idea. Um, this is Ultimark's version of it. Um, after you drill and mount the switches in the, for the, basically you, you, you drill, you, you lay them out, you drill the holes with a spade bit, you screw these down. Do I have one of the little, there we go. You screw these down into your plywood cover, and then once everything's assembled, then you attach the switches, and it goes on for hours, which is why and 100. So that just completes the circuit, and then that's how you get your. That's how you get it. Well, what's but the thing is, right? Is 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 you need something. Basically, you need something that translates the on-off of the button mm -hmm. to the keyboard speak that Mame expects, because Mame expects keyboard like you know a K or an L or right. a, you know W. Because it's an emulator. Yes. On the PC. So for ten bucks less, you can pick up an OptiPack or iPack interface from Ultimark. I think this is the OptiPack, if memory serves. HapControls.com is another really good source of arcade-style buttons, joysticks, and all that good stuff. For example, if you have an older machine and you want to restore it, basically all these buttons will work. If you want to get really serious about building a Mame cabinet, check out System Episodes 24 through 28, where David Randolph, Joey Ravier, and I got our Mame on, which is this is pretty much all that's left of that. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're not into building a MAME cabinet and tracking down the ROMs for your favorite childhood games, uh, there's still lots you can do with that machine, like use Boxy or XMBC to turn it into a media PC to get all your favorite movies, music, and more onto your TV. If you're curious about Linux, download Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, whatever distro looks good to you, install it, and start exploring the operating system that powers most of the internet. Even, but I, I would like to try this sometime. Even the joysticks are based on micro switches. That, that's so cool. Yeah, and actually, it's amazing what you can do with 42,000 switches and a lot of plastic. Um, I've turned old PCs into routers using Smoothwall or IPCOP, Monowall. Actually, Monowall really only works with embedded PCs, not really with uh, like a, a quad. Or Pentium 4, like you have. Um, there are Pentium 4, the machine you have. But, Great for a file server or a video jukebox. FreeNAS is a personal favorite. Mm -hmm. Unraid is pretty awesome. If anybody hasn't checked it out, you should. It runs off of a USB thumb drive, was built with serving media in mind, and it essentially allows you to do parity data protection similar to a RAID 4 type, basically RAID 4 style data parity protection, which is similar to a Drobo. The idea is you basically add drives, and if a drive fails, you can restore the lost data on that drive from the other drives. Very cool. We actually, I. What I'd do you guys do with your yeah, old PCs? Yeah, we'd love to see your favorite uses for an old PC. And if a bunch of you email that you're interested in having us walk you through building one of these, we will. I especially, however, favor video requests for a project. So keep them coming. Keep them coming, eh?